We're sitting in the backyard catching some rays uh, with M uh, and Prani from Chelsea Bleach. Now, I want to read out a bit of a quote here. You have been described as a subversive Melbourne powerhouse, yeah. in, in air quotes. Do you agree with that? And, and if so, how do you think you, you do subvert expectations? Public safety is, I guess, a subversive song. You know, like, that's quite political. Like, that's uh, lyrics that M wrote about, um, you know, just, like, safety on the streets and, like, like ownership of, our, of women and gender non-conforming people's bodies by public and men and that kind of thing um yeah we love that quote we think it's pretty funny but like it's it's cool as well like what a good compliment chelsea bleach obviously works within sort of like a, a punk rock garage sort of framework mm -hmm. was that an active choice you made and, and why did you decide to sort of play with the, those sort of genre tropes i suppose you know a lot of the bands that we were influenced by have that sort of sound like you know slater kinney and hole and you know bands that we're listening to growing up um so yeah i guess like Punk rock garage always just made sense for us. Mm. Yeah, I think I um, always found like punk and garage to be like quite accessible in terms of writing because like all of us don't come from a we've just come from a self taught background pretty much. So it's like you know three chord songs like bar chords and all that kind of stuff is like a pretty simple format for starting out with. I think. What are you trying to say with decent connections? Because I noticed a few sort of I guess running motifs through the songs. We we're feeling like there's kind of you know like themes around like identity and sort of like you know, figuring things out about yourself or stuff like that and that they all fitted together. And that's kind of like why we chose the, the name Decent Connections for the EP as well because like um, it's a lyric from one of the songs. You know, in Chelsea Bleach, we've really like been able to connect with and find this really great community and like a lot of good friendships and connections with people through being in the band and also just like, yeah, like those Decent Connections are something that we think about and it's important to us right now, yeah. How important is it to you to be a part of that community and what sort of... Uh... I guess, how does that impact your music and, and the way you make music and play shows? So we um, were a fan of Wet Lips before we played our first show and we asked them to play our first show. We were really nervous messaging them. <laughs> and since then, we sort of like felt like accepted into this community, like people saw us and they were like, hey, let's play gigs together. And, and so that community of friends and, and, you know, like artist partners is hugely important to us because it's just been a, like given us a platform, given us a space to play gigs and feel comfortable on stage and that kind of thing. I think perhaps a lot of bands who started at a different point or like maybe came into a different scene like who are women or people of colour or gender non-conforming people like they haven't had the support of like a community they have to fight really hard but for us like we've always felt like we've really like stepped into this space that's been really supportive of us and so it's given us the confidence to keep going and like explore different things and yeah kind of grow as a band which is really great. Do you think that you are rock dogs? <laughs> Yeah, I would say so. Actually, we've been having this conversation lately about like, you know, what is a rock dog, you know, and like what defines a rock dog and like who gets to call themselves one. And I feel like it's one of those things, like if you feel you are in your heart a rock dog, then you are, you know, like you just gotta do it, you just gotta rock. The thing that I like about the kind of pointing of the word rock dog is that I feel like it kind of goes alongside this like thing that I feel is happening in Melbourne at the moment where it's like people who have been left outside this narrative of kind of like white men playing guitars and now like reclaiming spaces and sounds that weren't made for them. And so like it's kind of challenging this whole notion of like what the idea of rock actually is. You know, I'm not going to place that title on anyone who doesn't want it, but I think that it's like exciting for, yeah, to see who wants that and like people outside of that idea to just like challenging what it is to rock. Does the subversive Melbourne powerhouse have any final words to say for any of your, your legions of fans out there? Yeah, if you want to be a rock dog, just do it. Just, yeah, go ahead and do it. Start a band. Do it, start a band, feel it in your heart. <laughs>